Welcome to the program, Learn with Opoku. Today we're going to dive into the lesson, three singular and plural nouns. And this time around, what we are going to do is to determine the plural markers of a given noun. So we're going to treat how to determine the plural marker of a given noun. Yeah, determining the plural markers. But before we do this, there are certain things that we need to refresh our minds on. That is, we need to refresh our minds on what we have already learned. What have we learned? One, we have learned that the key nouns, the singular nouns, mostly have the prefaces a, a, e, o, o, m, and m. Yes, these are the prefaces of key singular nouns. What about the plural nouns? We have also learned that the three plural nouns also have these three prefaces, and that is a, m, and m. Good. So these are the prefaces of what? The plural nouns. That is a, m, and m. That is point number two. Point number three. We also know that some of the key plural nouns have some what? Surfaces. And that is, they can have these surfaces. Four or four. That is point number three. Point number four is that some also, especially the kinship nouns. When we talk of kinship nouns, we talk of what? The people that we have some relations with, blood relations with. So it could be those are family members like our mother, our siblings, our uncles, auntie, and so on and so forth. Kinship nouns. And they have this surface. Nom. So in all, what are we saying? We are saying that three singular nouns have these prefaces. And the plural nouns also have these prefaces. Ah, mm, mm. This means that if you want to determine the plural marker of a given noun, you only need to choose from ah, mm, and mm. Only these three. Good. And then we also know that some of the plural nouns also have these surfaces. And that is what? Four or four. Example, we have what? A handful. This. Only four. We also have Essica four. And that is what? This one, surface. Good. And kinship nouns. The surface is what? Num. In plural form, they get the surface. Num. Now the question is, how are you going to be able to determine as to whether a particular noun in plural form should have prefix a or m mm, or m? Mm. This is the question. And then also how to determine as to whether it should have four or four or num. This is what we are going to hold, find out. So first we're going to find out which nouns normally take a, a as their preface in the plural state. So we're taking this, a, which nouns in the plural form will take the preface a. Good. Let's go here. Singular nouns normally have these prefaces. And all those singular nouns with these prefaces, a, e, o, and all, this group, these prefaces, they are mostly, or they are likely, 98% likely to have the preface ah in their plural form. I take it again. 
I'm saying that all those nouns with these prefaces in their singular state, in plural form, they are mostly or likely, 98% likely, to take the preface a ah, in the plural state. So that is the first thing that you need to know. Let's get some of the examples of these nouns in their singular state and let's see how they form their plurals. One, we have this. If he, if he is what? Who? And I'm saying that these groups, it has the preface a. This one, a. Fie. In the plural state, it will drop this e and then take a. That is all. So it's going to be hot. In plural, it's going to be hot. Homes, a fie. Let's take another one like this. We have a two, and that is what? Gun. A two. A two in the plural form. How is it going to be? As I've told you, it will drop its preface and take the preface a ah, in the plural form. So it's going to be what? A two, and that is what? Guns. A two. It's very simple. Let's look at. Another one, this time around, let's take a, a dime, a dime, and that is what? House, a dime. In plural state, it's going to be hot. A dime, a dime, a dime, a dime. In plural form, we have what? A dime, a dime. Let's take another one. A boar, a boar, and that is stone or rock. In plural form, is going to be what? Now you know. And that is what? Stones, a boar, stones. Let's take another one. Onyami, and that is a god. Onyami. A god in plural form is going to be hot and yummy and yummy and that is what goes and yummy goes very good so at this point I want to explain that if you want to find out which nouns in their plural state would take the preface ah then I am saying that they are those singular nouns that have what the prefaces a, e, o, and what or they are likely, 98% likely, to take the preface a in their plural state. And a typical example is what I have given here. We have a fie that is home. In plural form is what? A fie, a tio gan. In plural form, a two guns. A dying house. In plural form, a dying. Please take note and listen to how the A here sounds. It sounds what? I, I, I. The, so the A and here sounds what? I. A dying, a dying. It sounds what? I. And then in plural form, to we say a dying, a dying, a dying. We have a boar, stone, in plural form, a boar, and that is what, stones. Onyame, a god, in plural form, what, enyame, enyame. So, this is the first thing that you need to know. We're going to the second thing that you need to know. The second thing that we need to know is that, look at this. Those singular nouns with these prefaces, hmm? singular nouns with the prefaces e, e, o, and o, 
that also has the surface ni. I take it again. Singular nouns with any of these prefaces, a, e, u, and or, with the surface ni. For example, we have this. Yeah, for example, we have this usieni, which means what? Elena. Usieni is Elena. And it could also be a student or a disciple. Yes. Usieni has this preface. U. You see that? U. And then it has this surface. Ni. What will happen is that in the plural form, it will still take the preface a in the plural form. So it's going to be what? We have the esunya, but the ni will change to for. It will take this. So the point here is that all those singular nouns with these prefaces, any of them, with the surface ni, in the plural form, it will take the prefix a. And the surface, the surface ni will change to what? For. And we have the, the noun in the plural state. So this is the first example. Let's give another example. Yeah, so look at these singular nouns. We have osikani. What does that mean? A rich person. Rich person. In plural form, as I've told you, is going to drop this O and take A as what? Preface. And then the ni will change to what? For. So we're going to have what? Asika for. Asika for that is rich people. Asika for. Then I want you to complete this. Osuku ni, which means what? Student. Complete that for us. Odrobeni. Odrobeni means what? A driver. Complete the plural form for us. Ochirichiri ni is what? Teacher. Have you finished? Good. Osuku ni is going to be hot. A school for students. Odrobeni is going to be hot. A drubber for. A drubber for. Ochirichiri ni teacher is going to be hot. A for, a for, and that is what teaches. So, what are we saying? We are saying that singular nouns with these prefaces, and that is a, e, o, and or, they are likely to take preface a in the plural state. A typical example we had what uh, a dime in plural form is what a dime. A boar in plural form became what? A boar and so on and so forth. And then the second point is that the same singular nouns with these prefaces a, e, o, and or, and at the same time with the surface ni, in the plural state they will take the preface a and the surface for in the prior state. So this is the second point. And this is where I would like us to draw the curtains down. And in the next video, we are going to find out which singular nouns are also likely to take mm and mm in prior state if you really enjoy this lesson and you want to be informed anytime i make new videos then kindly subscribe to my channel subscribing 
motivates me to do more. Thank you.